hello friends welcome back to my channel in last video i show you how you can implement retrofit library and then we download the github api data and then we displayed it on the recycler view along with that i show you how we can use the glide library as a thumbnail to display the images and the recycler view in the continuation of the same project in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can implement MVVM live data with the help of observers. Let's begin with adding the dependencies. So go to file, project structure, click on this plus sign and then type Android X dot lifecycle and search. Add this dependency or this. Let's apply and OK. So once that is sync, all right. Let's add a package, separate package for model view models. Let's create a view model class. That is the Kotlin class basically. Give it a name. So that is basically our view model class. We need to extend with the view model. Then we need to create our live data. Uh, we need to define our live data variable. Basically our observer is going to observe this variable. So it is going to return this recycler list type of data. Inside the init method, inside the init block actually, we will we are going to initialize this live data. We need to create a function which is going to return this uh, mutable data. So on this variable, we are going to implement our observers. Yes, return simply. And one method which is going to make the API call. So let's create another method function like API call. And copy this code and move it to the view model. So we are moving the whole code which was responsible for making the API call from the activity. So we are moving that code inside the view model now. So that retrofit instance will be created from here. Let's comment it out the UI functionality. And from these methods, we need to we need to call this observer live data. Copy this and then post value and inside this you need to send the data of whole list. In case of error, we need to simply send the null, but we can customize this data in like if we make a wrapper class and inside we want some other parameters then we can do that too but just simply we are going to send it null in case of not successful also we are going to send the null in 
let's go to our activity comment it out this code we don't need use now we are going to call our view model here so let's see how we can access our view model functions from the activity so this is the way we can initialize our view model or we can access the function defined inside the view model so So this is the observer we are setting on the live data. So this is every time get called when we set data as a post value. So whenever post value will call from the view model, then this method will get called. So if it is not equal to null, else we are going to show the toast as we are doing previously. So if it is null, then show the simple toast with error. If it is not null, then we need to set the data to our adapter. Okay, let's review one time and then we'll run the application. Yeah, looks good to me. Yeah, everything is on place. Let's run it and see what happened. Alright, no data. Oh, we missed something. Let's try to figure it out. Oh, actually, we did not call view model dot make API call function. Okay, the function is not called, then there is no API call made. Let's run it. There you go. So now you are able to download the data using the keyword, and then everything good. So let's make this function as a parametric so currently we are hard coding all the time so let's uh, make it a parametric and we'll pass the value to this function and we'll take from the user as an input so let's change our layout and we'll add a text view from where user will enter any keyword and then we'll search and display results on the recycler view so let's start this is edit view let's make it height with 50 dp and the match parent and add some margin get id because without that we cannot access this text here and as we are using constraint layout so we need to set the constraints and we are going to set the hint text which is inside the edit text copy these constraints put it here and that's it and this is going to be under that recycler so on the top we are going to show edit text here and then uh, button we need to add a button on 
click of that button this there will be a api call and then it will be displaying the results on the recycler view so let's give it a name as well And we need to set the constraints for this button as well. And this, this is going to be here now. So all three layouts is going to be vertically aligned on the activity. Let's change it here. So we need to handle that button click which we added just now so we need to call this function from on the button click and then we need to okay yeah let's put this under this and now so what is the id of the edit text this dot text dot to string yep let's run this and see all right let's type some keyword planter and search making api call and now we see the results now on the list here awesome let's change this to some other keyword New York and search. So now we can see the results are changed now, and we can see the all the data is from for the New York wherever it match. Let's see some different keyword. Washington. Let's search. Let's see how much results we see. Yeah, there you go. So we can see. It's working absolutely fine. Let's find one more. So, Texas. Let's see. Yay, there you go. So, we, it's working absolutely fine. So, this is how we can add a text view, and under that, we can put a recycler view. So, if you have this requirement in your project, then you can. Uh, Take a look on this video. Also, I have I I put the code in my GitHub, and then this in the link for the GitHub is defined in the description. Take a look on that. And guys, if you have any question, then you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share my video. Thank you so much.